Administrative Failure, let's get ready for a wacky and wonderful Wednesday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ambassadors, Element Wednesday, we got Miss Dumbler's class back here and Mrs. Lang's back class back here ready to, for the Element Challenge and ready to cheer on their teachers. But before we get there, those were two great tips from our ambassadors. We just had a situation today where somebody was trying to save a seat on the bus and someone else couldn't get in and then they got upset with each other. Everybody deserves a seat on the bus. So nobody makes nobody nobody has a have more entitlement to one seat than anybody else. Just because you were sitting in their seat does not mean that you get to save it for somebody else. Everybody has the um, the equal opportunity to sit wherever they want, and we need to remember that and we need to acknowledge that. So if, if you're trying to save a seat but someone tries to sit there, you say, hey, that's yours. And if you don't want to sit there, then you can move. So I love that. Um, I also have a special student who happened to level up on blue the day that we had our element um, pep rally. So she did not get her chance to get acknowledged. So I want to bring up Mackenzie real quick. Mackenzie from Miss Lucha's class. Come on down, darling. <laughs> Mackenzie leveled up to blue. And guys, I've been hearing this a lot more. And, and there's some excitement out there because every time people are leveling up and getting up to blue, they're coming and letting me know, hey, Mr. Luciani, we leveled up. We got blue. So you guys are getting that dog tag real soon. But now Mackenzie has one. So Mackenzie, what did it take to keep leveling up and get that blue? Um, what did you have to do? I had to get my dog tag. <laughs> what did you have to do to get that dog tag? Did you have to listen to your teachers? Yeah. Did you have to work hard? Did you have to do your best? Did you have to get better just a little bit each day? That's right. It's all about getting better just a little bit each day. I wake, every, uh, wake up every single day and say to myself, how can I be just a little bit better than I was yesterday? And then I do my absolute best to do it. So Mackenzie, I'm proud of you, darling. You keep leveling up because the next one is gold. You ready to reach that one? All right, that's what's up. All right, guys, it is time for an element challenge. We've got a big one over here, so let's swing over this way. This is good old pie in the face, boys and girls, and we have two awesome teachers starting us off. Representing Earth, we have Ms. Dumbler. And representing Water, we have Ms. Lang. The winner of this round will play the winner of the next round, so we're going three rounds of pie in the face. Ladies, you know how to play this game, right? All right, I think you do. You, know, you never played that game? All right, so you're going to stick 
your chin okay. right up in there so you look funny right there. Okay. And then when I say go, you're going to be hitting this as fast as you can. Okay. Whoever's slower, that hand's going to start to move towards you and it's going to smack okay. the whipped cream in your face. Hence the name pie in the face. I know. <laughs> Ladies, are you ready? Fingers set. Go. Takes round one. Nice job. I guess I'll go. Next up, we have Miss Carrillo and Miss Motley. Uh -huh. Miss Carrillo, round one. Miss Motley representing fire. Miss Motley! Fire! That's right. There we well, go. I meant to say water just cannot catch a break in these challenges either. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it's a little bit. Okay, just a little bit to the. No, I think I think, I think it's right down the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's just a sign of things to come, Miss Molly. All right, ladies. I hope I brush my teeth. Are you ready? Very close. Get that chin up there. Yeah. Ready? Oh, set. Go. <laughs>